Hey, welcome to Game Dev Weekly. My name's Max and I'm the developer of Hydraneer. This week's episode I got some new stuff to show you guys. I've done quite a lot this week, so I've got quite a few features to show off. So before you, I show you some stuff over here, I just want to show you some new settings that I've added this week. Uh, so now we've got a head bob toggle. There's a very, very, very slight head bob in the uh, camera in the game. And that's just to kind of like increase immersion very subtly. Uh, some people say it makes them a little bit sick. So I've made a function for turning that off. Um, as well as being able to save dirt chunks. So if your base is full of dirt chunks, you can simply turn this off and the game will no longer save those chunks. So over here, uh, we've got a new type of conveyor belt. Uh, it's a corner conveyor belt. I announced it earlier on my Twitter. If you didn't see that, there's a link in the description. And uh, it works exactly the same as the other conveyor belts, but I decided to make them into triangle pieces as that works a lot better. It works really well and I'm really, really happy with how it's come out. So you can just place an item there and it'll move it like so. This was a highly requested feature. That isn't the only thing I've added with the conveyor belts as well. I've also made them so when you place them down now, you get a nice little arrow telling you which direction it's facing. So in 1.2, there was also a little bit of an issue where if you put a pipe on top of another pipe, it would cause your game to crash. So I addressed that while I was creating these new conveyor belts as well. We've also got quite a few new sounds in the game as well. So it gives a bit of variation to items, uh, especially build items as well. These the ones that you can actually build with. Um, you can see here, there's a new sound for dropping a metal part instead of having that thunking noise. I've also looked at the funnel as well and made some pretty big changes. Uh, you can see the new models right here. I think the model looks a lot nicer as well, this version, but it's also got a lot less friction on the physics material of the model. And the shape of the model is also a lot nicer as well. So the items actually pass through a bit easier. So I'm going to drop this gold bar on here and go straight through on this conveyor down here. So the town of Bridgeport has had some pretty big changes. Uh, the first thing right here you can see is the new vehicle store and we've got a selection of some new vehicles. These are kind of just reskinned version of the trucks, but they also work a bit better as well. Their top speed is faster and their braking and turning power is a lot better as well. We've got three different colors. Uh, so there's the blue and red racing stripe vehicle. There's the construction yellow, and there's also the bare metal. We've got one area here on the left, which I'll go into later on as it's not quite finished yet. And there's also the new conveyor store. I wanted to kind of break up the stores a little bit, so I just created this new one. I've still got a little bit that I want to do on this store, um, maybe even put a shop sign out the front, make it look a bit more official. But it's really nice having a bit more space in the other store. The new palette model is also in the game now, which I'm really happy about. Uh, I also improved the way it works a little bit and it's proving to be a really nice addition to the way the game works. It's time for the competition segment, uh, Max's weekly uh, video competition part or something like that. And this week I asked the community to submit images that are related to shards. Now this could be memes, this could be images or screenshots or drawings or artwork or anything. And uh, we got some really cool entries. The first one here, it looks like a Photoshop image of uh, one of the shard pressure tanks. And uh, instead of it being made out of that brassy material, it's made out of shards. I think it looks really cool. And actually we do have a pretty big modding community on Hydraneer. Uh, in the Discord, you can find a modding channel and there's quite a few really awesome mods. I think one of them, which is my favorite, uh, changes all the colors of all the trees and stuff in the game to give it like an awesome feel. The mods are really cool and you should definitely check it out uh, in the Hydraneer Discord, it's linked below. I think this guy was actually featured in the last video, but uh, this is really cool. It looks like a, a render of uh, what essentially is like a red shard. Uh, that's really, really cool. I think that's awesome. Um, maybe we could see some red shards in the future. Uh, haven't had any plans to do that yet, but I think that'd be quite cool to explore. This next week's competition theme is going to be based around what item would you add into the game? What I'd see in this one, it would be some drawings or some diagrams of some really cool items that you would like to see added into Hydraneer. And maybe if they're cool enough, I might actually add them into the game. So again, to submit any of these entries, head to the Discord and there's a little competition section and you can put your entry in there. And please remember it is one entry per person. 
The final item I'm going to show off in this week's video is the new smelter. Now this is just a combination of the furnace, the mold and the crucible. But also what's really nice about it is because it's a buildable item, it snaps to the center of the grid. So when you're using the funnel, it makes it even easier. Another cool thing about it is the pot is hot immediately. So whenever I put in a chunk, it immediately smelts it. Now this isn't completely finished yet. There's a few visual things that I wanna uh, change about this, but for the most part, the functionality is all there. Uh, so if you just click it, then it produces the bar. I can also just repeat this process as well by chucking in the bar again. The size of this crucible is exactly the same as the other crucible. The reason I did that is because it had to fit into one grid block. I think in the, one of the next updates, I'll probably even make a bigger smelting option. So this is pretty good for the mid game. This update's really meant to be just about the mid game. So I think this thing fits perfectly. If you're wondering, the 1.3 update is coming sometime in July or August. If you want to catch this video a little bit earlier than everyone else, then consider joining my Patreon. The minimum tier is $2 and you can get access to all these weekly videos a couple days before everyone else. A big thanks to my Patreons and I will see you all next week. Hey, welcome to Game Dev Weekly. My name's Max and I'm the developer of Hydraneer. This week's episode